everybody, Lucio here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little peek at the mini casing design, so here we go. First thing you'll notice is there's no circuit board, no batteries, switch, any rate circuit. None of that stuff actually inside of the microlight, which means it gives us a lot of real estate to play with. Um, when you look at the length and the width of the mini casing, it's going to be the shortest compared to pretty much any microlight that's out right now. Um, and when you look at the design, it's a latch locking design. That means that once it's assembled and put together, it's not supposed to be reopened like normal micro lights are today. Basically, a hot glue is used to adhere and fill all the little crevices between the leads, the solder, and the cavities of the micro light. And then once these latches come down together, they're locked and it creates this one solid design. That way, if you do happen to pull on the wires, that stress is distributed amongst all the hot glue surrounding the inside, and then also distributes that stress to the plastic casing that surrounds the bolt. And you look at that assembled together, it's going to look something like that. This design is not final, and actually you guys can have a lot of input on how we could change or make the design. Um, I don't know if you guys would like to make it a bit more ergonomic, have some dips uh, within the plastic so it matches your fingers, or if you like just that flat surface. Either way, whatever you guys like, uh, let me know. And when you compare the size of that to like a Micromax casing, both of these have a diffuser applied, and as you can see, it's a pretty dramatic size difference. Um, that's mostly it. Hey guys, Lucio here, and I wanted to show you something called a Photon 3. So some of you may or may not have seen this light before, it's a pretty old school light, and I wanted to point this out because it largely inspires Infinity Glows. Reason being is it has two buttons on it. Right now, we have the two button function working on our Infinity Gloves as the top button pushing forward so you progress through each set, and then the bottom button being the back button so you can go backwards through the sets. But because the device is programmable, we can change this in the future. And I'm really open and interested in hearing maybe what kind of ideas we could do with this. On this light specifically, when you press and hold the top button, it turns the light on. And this can be used for stuff like conjuring. The second button is an on-off switch. When you press it on, it will activate a certain mode. You can also hold down that button if you want to change that mode to something like a strobe. And then when you turn it off and back on, it'll save that mode. This functionality is not something that we want to copy or replicate specifically, but what I want to remind you guys is that we can change this. You know, leaving the device programmable means that we can interact and experiment with different options. We could leave the top button on the Infinity Gloves to work as you, know, you progress through your sets, and when you are you know, locked in or using any certain set, we could use the second button to activate an impact move, like it turns on just your thumbs or it turns them off. Um, or it could actually activate an entire secondary set. We can make either of the buttons you know, an on-off switch or push to function so that when you're pressing that button uh, you're going to only activate certain lights if you want to do stuff like conjuring. And there's a lot of different ways that we can experiment having these buttons work. I think having two buttons on a micro light and especially controlling a whole set can make things somewhat easy and possibly make some weird light change interactions that we've never seen before. But that's it. I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, get your feedback on it. And uh, thanks for watching this video.